In this video, I'm going to share a framework and formula for you to use to create your next long form YouTube video. Hey there, my name is James, if we have not met already. I am a full-time content creator, and on this channel, I talk about the strategy, process, and tools to help you create content for your personal brand or your business. I release new videos every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so that you're reminded of every time that I post a new video. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video for the tip that's gonna help you to make your content more bingeable, leading to more subscribers and followers. Let's jump right into it. So when it comes to structuring your YouTube video, we have to start with the hook. The hook is going to be the thing that grabs your viewers' attention. Once you get them to click on your video, you need to hook them within the first 10 to 20 seconds, and here are a few things that you can do to help hook them. Number one, you can hook them by asking a posing question. You can tease a little bit of the content that you're going to talk about later in the video. You can also make this the highlight of your video by showing a brief preview in the very beginning getting your viewers to wanna to stick towards the end. This happens a lot in reality TV where they show the most dramatic parts of the episode at the very beginning, hoping that you stay to the very end. What's most important about the hook is of course grabbing the attention of your viewer, but you also wanna state the promise of the video. This is essentially a promise that you're making to your viewer, and it's important that you follow up and deliver on that promise later in the video. Pro tip for the hook is to spice up the editing. Again, this is very important. You want people to stay and watch your video. So if you can make it a little bit more interesting, adding some B-roll, some quick cuts, some music and sound effects for this hook, it's going to increase the production value of your video, make it a little bit more engaging so that people are motivated to stay and watch until the end. Moving on to the second part of our structure is the value statement. The value statement can come directly after your hook. This is your opportunity to do a little bit of branding. In the value statement, this is the time where you can talk a little bit about yourself, what you do, what your qualifications are, what makes you an expert to talk about the topics that you talk about on your YouTube channel. This also gives the viewer a little bit of reason as to why they should listen to you in the first place. An example that I use on my channel is, hi, my name is James, I'm a full-time content creator, and on this channel, I talk about the strategy, processes, and tools to help you create content for your personal brand or your business. So that value statement right there tells you a little bit about who I am, what my experience is, and what type of content I create on this channel. You can also add how often you plan on uploading. So what I say is I release videos every single week and I also invite the viewer to subscribe for more content if they're interested in what I'm talking about. Now the point is not to make this a super long and drawn out period of time. I actually even encourage against making this longer than 30 seconds. You wanna to get to the content as soon as possible. Again, we want people to stay on our video, to be engaged and to make it all the way to the end. So avoid trying to make this section, this value statement, a super long bio about yourself or having a super long intro. I would just make it very clear, very concise so that they know what type of content you create on the channel and then get into the actual content. Which leads us to the next portion of our video structure, which is going to be the actual content. This is the reason why the viewer clicked on your video in the first place. They want to get the content. They want to know what you're talking about, and it's your job to provide the value so that when they leave this video, they have changed, they've gained knowledge, experience, or the know-how to do something that they didn't before. In the content section, this is gonna take the most amount of time for your entire video, and of course, it's gonna range because you could be talking about something really in depth, where it takes maybe a half an hour to explain and to go through, or it could be something that's very quick and only takes a couple minutes. Essentially, with the content section, you want to deliver on the promise that you made your viewer at the very beginning and even going all the way back to your thumbnail. This is a reason why they clicked on your video, so the more that you can be very specific, provide the value that you've stated that you're going to provide, the better off you're gonna be, the more satisfaction the viewer's gonna have, leading to more subscribers, followers, and overall better engagement. So in order to make it easier for the viewer to follow along, it's very important that you organize it in a way that's easy for them to follow. One of my favorite ways to do that is creating lists. Any way that you can do a before and after explanation 
or recording a step-by-step -step process for how to do something. This is also gonna help you as a creator to be very organized and efficient when it comes to recording your content and on post-production on the editing side. And if you're looking for ways to best organize your content, make sure you check out this video right here where I explain the three categories of content that you can be creating and it works for any niche or any space. And the last section of our video structure is to end our video. And pro tip, we actually don't want to let our viewers know that we're ending a video. Instead, we should be using a transition. So check out this video right here where I explain exactly why you should not be ending any of your videos. Instead, you should be implementing a strategy called the transition. And I explain exactly how to do it in this video right here. Go check it out.